Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This is a different but kind of exciting video because I'm actually getting laser hair removal today on my armpits. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time and I was gonna have it as a graduation present for myself after I graduated CRNA school, but COVID was going on and all that stuff. And now is actually the perfect time because I had a friend from ICU who got certified in laser hair removal and is working in a clinic now that does a lot of that kind of stuff. So she's gonna do it for me today. I booked an appointment with her because I wanted to support her journey and also because I wanted to get laser hair removal. So I'm gonna have her explain to you guys a little bit about what it is and how it works, but I'm gonna tell you kind of how I prepared really fast. Sorry if it sounds really loud because it's raining pretty hard outside onto the car and um, the clinic's actually right there. I wanted to film this right before I went inside. So what I did was she told me not to wear deodorant, first of all, not to wear any deodorant today. So after I took a shower last night, I didn't put any deodorant on. Also, she told me that the laser works by recognizing hair and stubble. So not to shave for a few days before I went in. So I'll show you what that looks like. And the third thing is I also wore like a tank top that's very loose fitting and leaves a lot of space under my armpit. And then just a flannel. So nothing is tight on my armpits for afterwards. Now, I don't really know if that's necessary, but I felt like it was, so that's what I did. Um, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, hold on. Okay. This is what it looks like after a couple days, three days of not shaving. The light is making it look like there's way less hair than there actually is, but I promise I have like more hair than that. It's darker. So hopefully I'll have good results after today. And she said it could take about four treatments to actually like see the final results. And sometimes it can even take one after that, one or two more. So what I did was I booked a package of four and then she told me that um, if it wasn't all the way gone by four, that we would just add one or two single sessions. So that's how that worked. And I paid for four sessions in one. So it was actually a package discount. So I paid 300 something, but it was supposed to be 400. I think I paid 379. So it was a bit cheaper. And I do plan to tip her today in case you're wondering. Um, I actually didn't ask her. I don't know if you're supposed to tip like in during these services, I really don't know, but I Googled it and it said that it's typical to tip 10 or 20% of that one session fee if you liked your service. So I already know I'm going to like it because I love her and she's great and I trust her and I'm glad somebody I know and trust is going to be doing it for me. If this goes well, I do plan to get it on my bikini area and my legs because I'm not big on like paying for beauty stuff. I don't get like hair dye. I don't get all this stuff and wear a bunch of makeup, but I hate shaving. It's so annoying and I don't like the feeling of hair. I don't have a problem with hair, but I just don't like the feeling of it. So having laser hair removal will be super helpful to me and would save me time and the annoyance of just having to shave in the shower. Almost time for my two o'clock appointment. So let's head inside and I'll take you along. If I'm being completely honest, you guys, I'm a little nervous. That's going to hurt. Okay. Like maybe a little more than a little nervous. I do have one tattoo on my foot and she said it won't hurt any more than that. But I got that when I was 18 and I don't really, really remember how much it hurt. So I'm a little interested and nervous to see how this feels. But I'm gonna record my reaction while it's happening. So you'll be there with me and you'll know. All right guys, I'm here ready to get lasered. So I'm actually gonna turn the camera around and let Danielle tell you exactly how it works and everything because she was just explaining to me, I figured you'd wanna hear it too. So we use the Enmo Dilase laser and the way that the laser hair removal works is the laser is going to zap the hair follicle and it's slowly going to destroy the hair follicle over time so that it can no longer produce and grow hair. So within four to six treatments, you're gonna have total hair loss and usually one to two treatments as a maintenance package throughout the year is gonna keep you hair free. It's a little uncomfortable, but it's not a horribly painful procedure. It kind of feels like a tattoo and the higher that you can handle the um, frequency of the laser, the better results you're gonna have and the quicker you're gonna have them. So. Um, if you are interested in getting hair removal, I definitely would recommend doing it because everyone that I've done has loved it. And of course that's less maintenance for you. So, um, definitely consider it if you can handle a little bit of like a bee sting. <laughs> she explained it so much better than I could have. So I'm going to put her info. If you live locally, if you want to book with her, I'm going to put her info in the description. Um, she's awesome. And I trust her definitely to do this for me. So I'll tell you about the aftercare when we get out of here. Cause she was talking to me about that as well, but fingers crossed. I'll show you what my face looks like while we're doing it. Fingers crossed that I can handle a higher frequency. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying not to be. I'm like, I feel like I'm about to get a <laughs> shot. Okay. Is it on already? It's no. I'm just oh. rubbing in the, <laughs> just rubbing in the jelly. Okay. Oh, it's like it doesn't hurt at all. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> 
I didn't know what to too expect. Much? Is it too much? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think so. No, no okay. I think I just didn't know what was going to happen. Right. Well, you can definitely already smell the hair, so it's okay. going to work. Okay, ready? Yeah. You good? Yeah. You think you could go up more? Or are you good? Uh, Maybe I could. All right. Try. It feels like little little pricks. That's what it feels yes, like. Yes, it does. I wasn't sure like what to expect at all, but it just feels like little little pricks. So we're done with one side. That's what it looks like. And that took like no less time. than no time. Like I think it took less than a minute. And if I didn't start jumping around, it probably would have taken even less than that. So now we're going to the other side. And right now it's just like a little bit. I can tell something happened there, but it's not hurting. I wouldn't say it's hurting. So cool. Okay, time for the full review. I'm done. So that was so much easier than I expected. Like less painful and also so much faster. The whole laser procedure took less than two minutes. And the um, signing up, signing the papers and her telling me like educating me and all that stuff is what took the rest of the time. So I was in there for less than 30 minutes total. So great because I really thought it was going to take a while. And let me show you what it looks like. So right now my armpits are kind of burning a little, like on a scale from one to 10, I would say that the pain is a like two, like a one or two, because I could very easily just not notice it if I was busy. It's more of just like an irritation. Like if you put something on your skin that like irritated it, that's what it feels like. So I'll show you number one first. Do you see how it's like a little more red than earlier? It's really hard to see in this light. Let me see if I can turn down the, there. It's a little bit red there. And um, that's where she lasered it. The hair cinched or singed. That's what she said. So it should start to fall out in a couple days, I guess. And then here is number two. That's a little more red. It hurt more down at the bottom than it did at the top. And honestly, I don't know why, but my right side hurt worse than my left side. Um, she put the laser up to, well, I forget, but I think it was like medium. Um, she started on low and then she went to medium and I don't think I wanted it on high like at that point because it was feeling tolerable and medium. So she just left it there and said it was doing good getting the spots. So I'm really excited to have that done. My next session is on April 22nd. Today it's May 24th. So it'll be about four weeks from now and I'll update you guys with how the progress is going. Like I said, I got four sessions. I'm not quite gonna close this vlog out yet because I'm actually gonna give you a 24 and a 48 hour update on how it's doing, like if the hair's falling out, what's going on. So today is Thursday, it is 3 p.m. I'm gonna update you tomorrow. And so I will show you what it looks like and everything, what it's feeling like. And she did tell me not to get sunlight on it for three days, um, not to shave, stuff like that. And I'm supposed to keep the area moisturized. So I think I'm gonna use my face lotion there because uh, that's for like sensitive skin. So I think that would work really good there instead of just like regular scented lotion. Anyway, super excited to be hair free and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow to give you an update. John's filming me because he's gonna help you see my armpit and what it looks like right now. But it is actually 9 p.m. the next night, so it's a little more than 24 hours after my laser procedure, and I'm feeling like a tiny bit sore, like a very mild sunburn, but really nothing else, so it's been really good. Um, during the day today and last night, it was a little bit more sore, a little bit of like more of a sunburn feeling, but now it's almost gone. So I'm actually, this is the last time I'm gonna show it to you because tomorrow I can't imagine it's gonna be very much different. And she said that the hair won't actually fall out for maybe five to 10 days. So let me really fast show you what it looks like. It is, a, come here. This is why I have John. Hey John, what are you doing on Friday night? You know, just film my wife's armpits. <laughs> oh my so, gosh. So it's like a little bit red, you can see. Um, both of them look the same, but it's like a little bit red and you can see the hairs that she got where it's like singed. Girl, you got more armpit hair than me. Well, I couldn't. Oh! I couldn't. Look, here's another one. We oh, don't no. have a problem with armpit hair, okay? Just oh, we don't? No, I just think it's uncomfortable. But um, so the, sa the other one looks the same way. There's like a little bit of red and Otherwise, definitely worth it if my hair falls out and doesn't grow back for a while. I will really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this video fun because it was a little bit different and informative if you're interested in laser hair removal. Anyways, I hope that y'all have an amazing week and as always, I will see you next week.